Welcome to the do it yourself tutorial for the event Canyon Rush to be held during Robotics 2014. Firstly, we start off with the traversal mechanism of the robot. As the robot has to travel inside a canyon, it needs both a power mechanism to go forward and backward in the grooves as well as a suspension mechanism to enable it to grip the walls of the canyon. This is exactly what we have enabled the robot to do with the following mechanism. Firstly, there are two sets of power drives on the front and the back of the robot. And secondly, there is a spring based suspension to grip the walls of the canyon consisting of wheels which are attached to the body by springs. Now, since the robot has to make turns in the canyon, we have also added a pivot that will divide its body into two pieces and enable turning of the robot to the left and to the right. This concludes the traversal mechanism of the Canyon Rush robot. Now we start with the tutorial of the arm mechanism of the Canyon Rush robot. Here an arm with two degrees of freedom is sufficient to pick the victims up from the canyon. This arm is attached below the robot. The two degrees of freedom of the arm are as follows. Firstly, a degree of freedom that rotates the whole arm. Secondly, a degree of freedom that acts like an elbow and enables the arm to pick victims up. Here is the arm in action. Firstly, for you, we will move the rotatory joint of the arm between the robot and the arm itself. Secondly, we will show you how the elbow joint works. This is to pick up a victim and this is to drop a victim. Thank you.